Well, good morning everyone. Don't mind the background noise over there. I'm at a, a roll club. I'm out here this morning with my mate Tony. He's already left me behind and gone up there already. But yeah, something unusual this morning. I got myself a skiff. I uh, didn't actually get the skiff. I, uh, I actually bought it, but I didn't actually buy it. My mate uh, Min, do you remember Min from there? He was uh, yes, a fishing mate, he's uh, gone overseas for a little bit, business trip. So he's left me with this, this skiff and he goes, up, oh, you can have it. So yeah, I've been sending it up, getting outboards and stuff on it. And uh, today is our first uh, made in the buffer footage. I've got a few people around me looking at it, so uh, I'm getting a bit um, nervous. <laughs> Not the best place to be floating this first time, hey. But yeah, um, we are at Tinny Creek. Let's see what's, uh, what's in store for us today. I better get out there before people start laughing at me. There's too many people looking. <laughs> Let's get on there. Oh, I'm moving. Ooh, a big storm coming. No good. Kind of, yeah, not very stable. There's a lot of weight at the front. Because the battery's there, then it needs to move to the back a bit more. Yeah, let's chase up Tommy, see what he's doing. He's disappeared. <coughs> nice and quiet, what a way to try this first before I try anywhere else. That's actually the motor for my uh, boat, by the way. I just switched it across. So this hole was made by, um, this is made by, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to talk about it now. <clears throat> this hole was made by, uh, from the plans from Timmy Turtle's uh, skiff. Um, the guy who made it bought it and uh, bought the plan and made it. But uh, he uses no wood in this in this one. It's all made by, in, uh, by um, I, don't, I don't know what to call it, styro, a bit like styro, styro, styrofoam or something. I don't know what he used. <clears throat> but yeah, no, but it's quite actually, it's made it heavier than normal, so it's quite heavy. He's since moved on to um, one of those plastic boats, so he sold this, and uh, I saw it on the on, um, on marketplace, and I showed Min, Min, and he goes, okay, let's try it, buy it, we try it, you know, picked it up, and then he flew overseas. So here I am with it, I've been working on it, I've been putting the, the plate on there to put the removal bracket on there, to get that done, I had to add all the for the um, for the rail blazer mounts and everything and I just bought an outboard yesterday as well it's only a three horsepower because I didn't really want to uh, have anything to do with with uh, registration and stuff on this it gets too complicated um, yeah it's not doing its job at the moment it's running but uh, it's a short shaft it's not reaching the bottom I didn't notice I when I bought it but it's moving a little bit like a, a kayak speed. That's all that's all I really need it for. This thing is not meant to be going around the rivers planing and hooning around. It's meant to uh, slowly go through the system like this. So yeah, um, enough talking. Let's put the... Uh, I gotta chase Tony down somewhere. He's going all the way out there. So I, I gotta put my trolling rod down and we'll chase him. See what happens. Pike! <laughs> it's a pike. Pike! <laughs> oh, you can have those. Yeah, just put your 
finger in the mouth, mate. That'll hold them. <laughs> That's not going to have a pike on the first, on the first fish on this vessel. But yeah. Nice there you go. <laughs> Bikes are minus five, you realise that? <laughs> well, this wasn't in the plan, but uh, I hope Tony's okay. <laughs> uh, keep myself nice and dry. Poor Tony's out there somewhere in the rain. <laughs> It's pretty heavy. Uh, the rain cleared up finally. I'm just heading my way out to it. Tony, look at the bay, it's something all calm now. So this wind is really annoying. It goes up, it goes down. It does whatever it wants. Whatever it wants. <sighs> What's behind there? Hmm, that's... Manly Harbour. Oh, okay. Ooh, that was a solid bite. Ah, oh, lost it. What did I do to my plastic? plastic? Very, very fishy at the moment. Just, but I'm not stopping, I'm just want to get out to the Tony. Poor guy's, uh, poor blog, poor blog's drenched. <laughs> he had his, um, he had his, his wet weather gear behind him, in the crate there. And when the rain started coming, he was going to go around and grab it. But by the time he crawls around and grab it, he would be all drenched. So he just copped it. <coughs> very fishy out here. Trolling again, chasing uh, Mr. Tony all the way out there. Surprised I haven't caught a bunny yet. Gotta eat. Brim. Whoa! Horse of a brim. That's all right. You hit the pole a minute. Huh? Pole behind you. That's about the third one around that size I've caught in the last five minutes. That's all right. I haven't caught anything. <laughs> Oh, shit. Sorry, don't worry. You can ram me. <laughs> Jeez, feet are all dirty, eh? Turning a blow. Turning a blow to do the thing with the wind. <laughs> That's a horse. Whatever that is, that runs hard. Oh, is that a, is that just a big brim or? Oh, little snapper. Holy hell. <laughs> That's what you call a brim. Oy. He was nibbling at it and then I striked. There you go.
Ow, that got me. <laughs> They're pretty big out here too, eh? Tiny. The brim. <clears throat> it came as sides wiped it. <laughs> Jeez. Getting desperate. Back back into the umbrella. See that? Got something. I think it's a flurry. Oh, it's a flounder. It's a nice flounder too. <coughs> I think this one's going home. <laughs> when I get this size. When I get this size, I want to keep them because they're very tasty. Nice. I don't know where to put this because I've got no light tank really. Uh, mm, what to do? I might just keep it in the back. Sit there for a while. One again. Let's go ahead and shake this time. Feels like the flounder again. I'm pretty sure it's a flathead this time. No, it's just... What? Holy hell! Oh my god, look at the size of this whining. That's got to be the biggest whiting I've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> so this whiting. I'm going to follow with it. I'm going to follow with this one. Is that a whiting again? Oh my god! That's cool! <laughs> awesome! <clears throat> What's the legal size of this whiting again? That's something I know of. I know the big one is legal, <laughs> that's for sure. <coughs> I think it was 25 on top of my head. Let's double check it. Check 
of the way. So on here it says uh Welcome. Warning summer. 30 centimeter. Look how big this one was, hey, before. Damn bro. That's a 37. 37 centimeter whiting. It's not very big, that big. <laughs> so whiting is gonna be 30 centimeters. Twenty-five, sorry, as I said before. Yeah, chilling well legal. Cute. Looks like dinner's gonna be whiting tonight. Oh, gotta sort out my uh, live tank or keep tank somehow. Let's sit in there for a while. In the meantime. Okay. Look at another one. It's probably heaps of wine in here. Flathead again. A little flathead. Don't spike me, mate. Don't spike me. Let you go, okay? There you go. Where there's little ones, there should be a big ones, eh? Did I just catch a f oh my god, that's the smallest brim ever. <laughs> Too bad Tony's already gone home. <clears throat> There's a lot of fish out here at the moment. It's getting more and more active on this incoming tide. Do that again, I dare you. Makes me wonder the brim or the whiting. I might not actually on a flat. And that's what uh, these sk sk skids, skiffs are designed for. Flats. I'm really on the on the shell of flats here. I sure I really should be throwing poppers, but um I'm not confident in those yet. <laughs> so I'm thinking, all these bites, what are they? You know, are they brim or they're whiting or what are they? I'm surprised I haven't caught a big flatter yet. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Weird thing is today um, they were bait junkies out during the um, splash prawn. I don't know what's going on. The other day they wouldn't even touch this. Oh, oh, there you go. Whoa! Whoa, what the? 
What was that? That was nuts. Damn! Try that again, buddy. I dare ya. It's either be pike or a whiting. Come on. Come on. Mm. Oh, it's a flathead. Oh, finally. Um, um, this thing is full of uh, fish. Come here, buddy. I've been looking for you. There you go. <laughs> Finally, after oh, I don't know what to rod. After fighting fish all day. Oh, almost lost it. Oh, I did lose it. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, <laughs> you go. Released. Out of it. <laughs> this. Oh. Taking a drag. <coughs> Just taking a little fabio drag there. Eh? I call this a flatty. No. This is a big rim. <laughs> Very, very active here. Here, there's a little running in tide. This brims are pretty uh, they're everywhere. Service action, everything. This guy's not even in the mouth. He's outside. So he basically came down, looked at it, and I, 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 I striked and uh, hooked him on the side. Jeez, I need pliers in this one, hey. So guys, what I've done <clears throat> while uh, Tony went home, I went across the ramp over there, I went across, this is the flat area in here, and I mean, sat at the end, I just go up a little bit, spot lock, it's that peppering all across, fan it out across the whole uh, entire stretch here, and then for a while, move forward, spot lock, keep going again. And I've done that all the way from down there, up to, all the way up to here. <laughs> That's my style of fishing anyway, I don't move very much. I kind of, um, you know, metic meticulously uh, pepper every corner of a, of a whole system. 
whereas um, Tony does a lot of moving around. He, uh, he trolls and moves around, that's why I find it really hard to do it for fish this morning. Um, but yeah, this is how I like to fish, just one area and just pepper it. Make sure I don't lose any corner. Another flathead I dropped before was right here. And he might be still around here or he might be out there waiting for... Because uh, this is, open, this is um, the river comes in, it opens up into two little creeks. One over there, one over here, and then it comes down there and merges back down there again. So if, if a flathead was sitting there, it'd be sitting out there waiting in the steeper water out there. So as soon as the water comes over it, bang. That's the idea. So uh, I've done this bit here. I'm going to go back out there at the mouth and maybe do a little bit more around there before I call it quits because um, this, uh, this skiff has got no uh, nap lights. So I can't stay out late. The ramps is over there though, so it should be okay. I was thinking of even going around to the um, uh, Rickett, Rickett Road around there with the bridges and, and uh, try, the, try the pylons there, but um, being all electric, it's a bit of a mission to go around. So I thought I'd just hang around here and see if I got myself another whiting. But yeah, let's quit talking, let's head out there and uh, pepper around the mouth there for a bit. What the heck is this? Is it a flatty? Feels like a flatty. <coughs> Jeez. Got some go. Yeah, definitely finds like a flatty. Whoa, 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 this is a different flatty. <clears throat> this isn't a different flatty, it's not the one before. Oh my god, it's pretty big. Take my time. Take my time. <laughs> Doesn't want to give up. <laughs> uh. Uh, come on. Uh. So close. Yet so far. <laughs> Finally, should have been too flatty, but no. Hopefully, we didn't let this one go aboard. <clears throat> this one, if it's not oversized, which I doubt it will be, I'm going to keep this one, guys. I've been letting a lot of flatties go. Unfortunately, I got a very uh, old-fashioned parent, uh, mum, mum, <laughs> old-fashioned mum. He, he's been going. Uh, Have you caught any flathead? I go, yeah, I caught some flathead, some nice flathead. And he goes, where? Because I let him go. The way you let him go for you, uh, yeah, you silly and you know, <laughs> I don't have any fish to eat. I'm going, you can buy a fish to eat, mum. She goes, no, I like fresh. So. Uh, yeah, I better let her give her one so she can leave me alone. But yeah, I'm gonna take a photo with this guy. He's definitely around the legal probably. Uh, she's probably pretty big. This 
probably around the 60, 60 something. Fit in there. No, it's only 50, uh, around 50, 50, 50, uh, 57, 2 to 7 centimeters. So let me let me call your mum and see if she wants it. I really want to let it go. <coughs> well, guys, my mum said, Oh, yeah, take it home, put it in the fridge. I'll come and pick it, I'll come and. Uh, I'll come next time and, and take it up. I go, no, mum, because I want to give you a fresh fish. The fridge is no good, so uh, this guy is, this girl coming back. <coughs> I just rang on mum just then. So uh, I got no landing net, I mean, no, uh, I got no lip grip on this boat. So the net should be okay to. Uh, Give us my air if you want to let it go. Machine's ready. Machine's ready. You ready? Yes, yeah, she's swimming. Okay. See you go. Bye. Yes, I did it. <laughs> so guys, I was hoping for one more one more fish. But yeah, um, not happening. Wind's picked up as well and it's getting a bit dark and I haven't got any light, any light on board except for that. So but yeah, I'm um, gonna finish up now and head home. Uh, with this rig I think what I'm gonna need is a uh, camel flooring. <laughs> Definitely gonna have some foam flooring on it and uh, a couple more uh, round brazier attachments. I need a couple of more rod holders, probably one or two, and um, a fish finder right there. Everything's plumbed up, so it should be ready to go. Easy. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please like, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one, okay? See ya. Bye-bye. That's enough for me. Going home now. Finish up. <laughs> Stay safe. Oh, are you on? Oh, no. What's your name? Curtis. Curtis, okay. Stay safe, okay? <laughs> yep, see ya. Uh, okay.